I'm gonna knock down this blackboard with the sledgehammer. You find the amount of force required to bring it down. All right, so I want you to find that average amount of force required to bring down this blackboard. So we know a couple of facts. Number one, we know the mass of my hammer is 12 kilograms. We also know that the velocity at which I uh, throw the hammer is 8.5 meters per second. And the amount of time it takes for my hammer to come to a stop is 8 milliseconds. The goal, of course, is to find the average force. Can you do it? Good luck. Okay, so the first thing you should notice is I gave you the time in milliseconds. And milliseconds is not SI unit. So you have to convert that into seconds. So how do you convert milliseconds into seconds? Well, a thousand milliseconds is one second. So we can just divide eight by one thousand to get our time in seconds. And that's going to be T is equal to 0 0.008 seconds. Conservation of momentum says the change in momentum of the board equals the change in momentum of the hammer. So momentum is m delta v. m is mass, v is velocity. So we have 12 times 8.5 or 102 kilograms meters per second. Now we can find the average force. Average force is going to be what? It's going to be change in momentum over change in time. Right, delta P over delta T. Plug it in, you get 102 over 0 0.008 equals 12,000. Uh, 750 newtons and we're done if you have any questions leave them below and sponsored by brilliant.org